Link is the world's first wireless laser and white light system, combining a powerful green laser sight and 300 lumen LED white light with instinctive activation. I'm Gary Killingsworth with Crimson Trace. In this video, we're going to discuss installation and operation procedures for the Crimson Trace Link wireless laser sight and tactical light system for AR type modern sporting rifles. Utilizing a secure individual connection, Link offers complete wireless control of the laser and light module. The replacement grip is ergonomically designed for quick activation and mode changes, eliminating the need to reach for the rifle's forend to operate. The green laser sight, coupled with a powerful tactical light, offers high visibility in all lighting conditions, making Link the ultimate illumination and targeting solution. Within the Crimson Trace factory packaging, you'll find the following items. The Link AR replacement grip, the Link laser and light module, a Crimson Trace warranty registration card, the model specific Link installation handbook, and an accessory kit that includes the following. Mounting and sighting tools and hardware, lens cleaning swabs, laser safety stickers, and the batteries for the replacement grip and the laser and light module. Your Link unit will arrive factory paired, a secure, individual wireless connection between grip and module. To begin installing the link system, we'll start by installing batteries in both the module and the grip. First, remove the battery cap on the module and install one CR123, which is the larger of the two supplied batteries, into the module with the positive side in first. Replace the battery cap. Use care not to over tighten. Next, remove the battery cap on the replacement grip and install one CR2 battery into the replacement grip with the positive side in first. Replace the battery cap. Use care not to over tighten. On the grip, slide the master on-off switch to the forward on position. The sync indicator light on the grip will blink momentarily as the wireless connection is secured. Take note of this blinking action as this will also occur when it is time to change to a fresh battery in the module. Now, press the instinctive activation button on the grip to ensure that the unit is working properly. Depressing the button should engage the module. You will see both the laser and light illuminate from the module. To install the link system on your rifle, we'll start by uninstalling your factory grip and installing the link replacement grip. Remove the stock grip according to your factory manual. Use great care to retain the factory detent spring as it will be reused. On the link replacement grip, start by removing the rubber dust plug. Now, using the Crimson Trace provided mounting hex bolt and hex wrench, carefully thread the link grip onto your rifle's lower receiver, ensuring that the rifle's factory detent spring is aligned correctly. Once the bolt and spring are threaded and aligned, secure the grip onto your rifle. Ensure that the rifle's selector switch, or safety, is functional and completely clear of obstructions. Once the link replacement grip has been installed, we'll now install the link laser and light module. We'll start by turning the rail clamp mounting screw counterclockwise to loosen. Align the link module at your desired rail lug on the rifle's handguard. One of the primary benefits of the link system is that since it is controllable by the grip, it can be mounted at the location of your choosing on the handguard. Using the provided hex wrench, tighten the rail clamp screw clockwise to secure clamps to the rail. Link features Crimson Trace's instinctive activation. What does this mean? It means that when the firearm is held in a natural firing grip, the unit is activated. No reaching to the handguard to power your illumination and targeting devices. This is accomplished by a front activation button on the link replacement grip. 
To activate the unit, simply hold the grip in a natural firing position. This is referred to as instinctive activation, and it has long separated Crimson Trace products from the competition. To deactivate illumination, simply release pressure on the activation button. If you'd like to completely power down the wireless connectivity, you may use the master on-off switch on the grip to turn it off. If you prefer to operate the module independently of the grip, simply tap the independent control button on the rear of the module while the grip has been powered down. Once the grip is repowered, the wireless control of the link unit can be immediately reestablished by using the grip activation button. Link offers four activation modes for full user adaptability. Those modes are laser and light, laser only, light only, and laser with light strobe. It has been factory set to laser and light mode. Modes can be changed by either using the grip or the module. To change modes with the grip, hold down one of the mode selection buttons, then press the instinctive activation button. The module will begin to cycle through the modes. Release both buttons at your desired mode. The system will remain set in the mode you last selected. To change modes with the module, hold down the independent control button on the module. The unit will begin cycling through the modes. Release the button at your desired mode. Again, the system will remain set in the last selected mode. Link will arrive from the factory with parallel sighting. This means that the laser beam will run parallel to the rifle's bore with no parallax, or crossover, between your rifle's bore and your laser sight. As with all Crimson Trace laser sights, the Link module's laser sight is fully adjustable for windage and elevation. The windage and elevation adjustment screws are located just behind the laser source should you choose to sight your laser to a specific distance with your rifle's optic or iron sights. Though your link system is factory paired between grip and module, should you need to reestablish the wireless connectivity of your system, we will walk through this simple process. Slide the master on-off switch on the grip to the off position. Simultaneously press and hold the module pairing button and both of the grip mode selection buttons on both sides of the grip for a period of five seconds, then release. The sync indicator light on the grip will blink green to indicate that pairing is in progress. If pairing is achieved, the sync indicator light will change to a steady green for 15 seconds, indicating that the grip and module are now paired. After those 15 seconds, the sync indicator light will turn off and the link system is ready to be used. If the pairing process is not successful initially, after five minutes, the sync indicator light will blink red for 15 seconds, which indicates that the pairing process is terminated and will need to be reattempted.